Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this uh, tutorial we're going to cover average speed, final speed, and acceleration. We're going to take a simple problem of a Hot Wheels uh, that moves 3 meters in 1 second. We're going to find the average speed, the final speed at the 3 meter mark, and we're going to find out what its acceleration is. So before we uh, start calculating, uh, we're going to go over all the equations and symbols and units that go with them. Our first equation is um, speed, or really it's average speed. Your average speed is the distance traveled divided by time. And what I like to do when I'm solving any problems that uh, applies, I use the math triangle. I have a whole separate tutorial on that. But basically what you do is, if we're going to solve for V, that means we'll be dividing both of these. And our units for V are meters per second. D is meters and time is seconds in physics. Our average velocity equation also says that the final speed plus the initial speed uh, divided by 2 is another way to find the average speed. Well, we'll use that to find our final speed. And then the acceleration is your final speed minus your initial speed divided by your time. And the units for acceleration are meters per second squared and speeds or velocities are all the same meters per second. So let's um, do our first calculation for average speeds. Your average speed is, again, algebraically it looks like this in the math triangle. It, this is where we position the letters. And so it makes the arithmetic or your algebra a lot easier to see. So we substitute uh, distance for meters, we got three, the time is one second. So the way the math triangle works, if you're looking for one of the corners, you divide the top by the bottom. If you're looking for the top letter, you multiply these. So in this case, we're going to need to divide three by one, which of course is three meters per second. So that is our average speed. All right, next let's calculate our final speed. So to find our final speed, we know, also know that our final speed plus initial speed divided by two should give you your average, just like if you were to take your two test scores and just divide by two, you get your average test score. Uh, a lot of people like to put a bar there to indicate the average, so I'll do that too. So one thing we got to do is uh, assume that the Hot Wheels started from rest, uh, use some kind of launcher to launch it, and so at, the initial speed would be zero, like most starting of races. So if that's the case, uh, if you start from uh, zero from at a race, then your final speed should be twice your average speed. And we previously calculated the average speed to be three, so that would make our final speed here at three meters, uh, two times three, which is six meters per second. So now let's calculate the acceleration of the Hot Wheels. So uh, we know that our initial speed was zero in this problem, which is assumed it was and our time is one second and the final speed we calculated to be six meters per second so that makes our acceleration six minus zero divided by one which is six meters per second squared that means that the hot wheel was moving six meters per second each second all the uh, tutorials by Longhorn Physics uh, are available um, in some kind of book format at a starstudyguide.com. It's S-T-A-A-R, studyguide.com. There's uh, books for worksheets, very interactive. Uh, for example, this Physics 101. A lot of worksheets where you have to go through and practice all the units and know the uh, terminology. And then you finally get some uh, practice problems and it follows with a mini quiz. Uh, there's um, quite a few different types of physics books available at that website. If you feel that can that help you better, available in Kindle and by Amazon. 